Today's video is a demonstration of using Digilance waveform software and Digilance electronics explorer board to produce a transistor curve trace. And uh, we're looking at the waveform software here and we're looking at a trace for a uh, NPN transistor. And on the left there uh, is the uh, scope outputs from um, several of the channels that we have connected to the transistor. I'll show you that in a second here. So this is the um, Electronics Explorer board from Digilent. It's an old board, but it still does a great job doing things like this kind of experiment. You can see we're using all four of the scope channels to measure voltages on either side of those uh, two resistors here. The resistor is basically taking the input from uh, one of the wave generators, putting it into the uh, base, and another uh, waveform that's going into the collector and then the emitter is connected up to ground from that transistor. Um, you'll note that uh, we're using the DC inputs on, on all four scope channels um, and um, back to the waveform software. Um, I'm going to switch over to the actually, we'll, actually let's first take a look at this on paper and have a quick look at what this uh, experiment is about. We have the NPN transistor over here with the emitter, the base, and the collector. We have two sources of, um, you know, um, arbitrary waves. Um, 0 to 10 volts on a stair step is going in through a 100 kilo ohm resistor into the base. And then in the uh, arbitrary wave generator 2 is taking a um, sawtooth wave. And uh, that's going through a 100 ohm resistor into the collector and then the emitter is connected to ground from the transistor. We're using the four scope channels to measure the voltage on either side of both of these resistors um, and that along with Ohm's law uh, enables us to get the uh, base current and the collector current uh, during this experiment just taking the differences in those channels and dividing by the resistance. We're using two math channels within the uh, waveform software to do that to do those math operations and then those tools and this technique enable us to create this uh, transistor curve trace output, which has the collector current on the y-axis and milliamps, and it's got the uh, voltage between the collector and the emitter on the x-axis, and then we have curves or lines for each of the different values of um, base current. Um, by definition, the current gain of a transistor is called beta or HFE, and that's just a simple division of the collector current over the base current. Back to the waveform software, I'm going to switch over to the wave generator page and show the waves that we've set up for this test. We have a stair step wave that's uh, 10 steps from 0 to 10 volts. Um, you can see the setup details here. And then we have a uh, triangular wave with some different details. It's just running at a higher frequency, so we get uh, one of these stair steps or one of these triangle waves for each of these steps uh, in the stair step wave. Back to the scope. Um, what we're looking at here on the um, these blue triangles, that is the voltage. Uh, VCE, the voltage from collector to emitter. The um, orange line here, which is a stair step, is the um, current into the base that's coming out of one of our math channels. These are the um, these are the scales for each of those uh, you know different different values shown here, and then this yellowish white climbing um, plot here. That's the um, that's the uh, output of one of the math channels that's giving us the collector current. Um, okay, and then using that information, we can then produce this beautiful um, transistor curve trace using an XY plot that puts the um, X axis is taking the VCE data from channel 2, and the Y axis is the uh, collector current that's from uh, our math channel. And there it is in milliamps. So that's the that's the the full explanation. It works very nicely. I just get this thing running, 
not much to see, but um, it's uh, very stable and it produces some nice results. And here I've got a um, just uh, the values for one particular um, point in this test. You can see here's a collector current at 26 milliamps. This is the base current at 93 microamps. Uh, if you do the math, that comes out to a, um, a beta of about you know, 280, 290, which matches up with the specs for the uh, 2N2222 transistor. So this uh, whole thing seems to work nicely. Um, set up, uh, you can follow at home. Thanks for watching.